Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create branches, manage those branches, uh, merge branches to each other, and handle merge conflict all in Visual Studio Code. So let's get to it right away. Now, before we dive right in, here is a link where you can find all the resources that uh, branches related when it comes to Visual Studio Code. So if you think there are a few things that aren't covered in this video or there is a particular thing you're looking for, I'm very sure, I'm very certain you're going to find it in the link I've linked uh, above me. Thank you. I created a basic HTML project to help us demonstrate everything or the basic things you need to know when it comes to branches in Visual Studio Code. Now, this is basically just a HTML boilerplate, nothing to display, just uh, just a template, but it's enough for what you want to do with it when it comes to showing off the things that you can do with uh, Git branches using Visual Studio Code. Before we can create a branch, of course, we need to initialize the repository and at least commit some changes to the default branch that is created for us when we initialize that repository. Now to initialize the repository, click on the source control tab, click on initialize repository, then you can see by default we get a master branch here but the asterisk basically is telling us that hey even though we've got a branch for you uh vs code is saying even though i've got a branch for you there are no there are, you have like pending changes that you need to commit before it can be available in, in in source control and under this branch so let's type an initial commit message and just commit this now you can see the asterisk disappears and then we have some changes or like basically the new thing we added committed to source control under this master branch. Now there are two main ways to manage branches in Visual Studio Code. Either you use the, the, the branch button from the footer. If you click on this, it would show you some options for creating a branch or you expand the branches uh, drop down from the source control tab. So if you click on source control tab, you would see the branches drop down here which is sitting alongside commit, file history, remote, and so on. So if you click on branches, you would see the one branch you have, which is the master branch. Now to create a new branch, you would click on the plus button. Visual Studio Code would ask you, which branch do you want to create the new branch from? In this case, I want to create a new branch from master. So if I pick master, it would ask you to name the new branch. So in this case, I'm going to name the new branch dev and hit enter. You would ask to confirm if you want to create a new branch and yes i want to create a new you can either choose to create a new branch or create a branch and switch to that new branch so in this case this is what we want to do we want to create a new branch called dev and also switch the branch automatically now we can see that the dev branch is our current branch and the footer the vs code footer also indicates that this is our branch now let's go ahead and make some changes in this uh, new branch we've created I'm just going to add a simple header. It just welcomes everyone to our page. And once we have this, we need to commit the changes we've made in this case, added header. Now we can switch between this between this these two branches between master and dev by just clicking this uh, arrow beside them. So if I click on the arrow beside master, which is the switch to branch arrow. You should see that the welcome message disappears. And if I click on the dev, on the arrow beside the dev branch, you would see that the welcome message reappears again. To merge our changes, or to merge the changes we've made on the dev branch to the master branch, first of all, we need to switch the master branch, which you can do uh, just like we learned using the arrow button beside the master branch. Now we're back to the master branch, which doesn't have the welcome message in the index.html. Now to merge this, to merge the dev branch into this master branch, you would head back to the source control uh, uh, section, click on this more actions menu, which so shows you all the possible uh, operations or all the possible commands or all the possible Git commands that are available in VS Code. In this case, we want to head to branch, click on merge branch, and then VS Code will ask you to select a branch to merge from. In this case, we want to merge from the dev branch. If you click on the dev branch, you would see that the welcome message appears in the master branch. Now, if I switch back to dev branch, I would still see the welcome message. And if I head back to master branch, I would also see the welcome message. There is another way you can merge branches, which is 
to right click the branch that you are currently not checked out <laughs> into i don't know if that is correct but this is what i mean the master branch is currently the branch that is checked out so the dev branch is not checked out in that case uh we want to merge from the dev branch into the master branch so if you right click on the dev branch you would see the merge branch into current branch so the current branch is the checked out branch which is the master branch and we don't this is the branch we want to check we want to uh, rather merge the dev branch into so if you click on merge branch into current branch it would merge dev into master but currently we've already done this through the previous method but i thought it would be cool if you know that you have this option as well for merging branches now you can also rename a branch by right clicking on the branch's name and clicking rename branch now we want to rename the master branch from master to main and hit enter yes it's asking if you want to confirm the, the renaming of this branch and yes we want to rename this branch so just click on rename branch and the master branch would be turned or would rather be renamed into main let's take a look at how we can resolve merge conflicts with visual studio code so let's say we added a paragraph called uh, with the content high and then we commit this paragraph with the message added high and no, mind you are committing this this uh this new change to the main branch would we'll commit this change and switch to the dev branch add a different uh content in this case let's just add um another paragraph but with a different text hello then we can commit this message by uh, using the commit message added hello now let's try to merge these two branches if if you've noticed the change we made in main if we switch back to main is going to conflict with the change we've made to the dev branch so if we try to merge the branches by right clicking on dev or rather let's switch to main then right click on dev and click on merge into current branch I click on merge we would experience a merge conflict vs code gives you the most popular options for handling merge conflicts the first option is whether you want to accept the current change the current change in this case is the change that is in the main branch so the branch you are currently in and tried to merge a branch into it in this case is the main branch so if i click accept current change it's going to accept the high paragraph because the high paragraph is in the main branch i'm going to undo this and let's see the second option which is the accept incoming changes if you accept the incoming change it's going to accept the change in the dev branch and not the main branch because that's bring, that's the change that's coming from uh, a different branch entirely i'm going to undo this as well and if you accept both changes it's going to keep both the hi and hello paragraph we need to undo this one last time and then you will have the option to compare the changes if you are not sure of what's happened between them so you can see that from the main branch or from the current branch we have the high paragraph and then from the dev branch or the incoming incoming branch we have the uh hello uh, the hello paragraph now, in a few minutes, you've seen everything you need to know, at least the basic things you need to know to be able to manage branches using, using Visual Studio Code. I, I personally think that this is way faster than using the terminal because I'm already in, v, in VS Code. I'm, I'm already in VS Code. I'm already clicking around uh, icons and menus and stuff in VS Code. So it makes more sense for me to just also handle all my branches or like get related stuff from Visual Studio Code. Thank you for watching. Bye.